Hey Soul Fam, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. And, uh, starting off a brand new, amazing week. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today <clears throat> about uh, the the symbols of alchemy. So, um, if you've been watching my videos for a little while, uh, you probably know that I am an alchemist and that I practice the art of alchemy. Um, but I wanted to share something with you today and the the power of the symbolism of alchemy and why I myself am a practical alchemist rather than, uh, you know, like a, a lot of people um, practice more of like the spiritual aspect of alchemy or consider themselves like an energetic type of alchemist. And that is a beautiful aspect of it. But that's all, only a portion of it. And um, in my personal uh, experience, I, uh, I feel that I can embrace the lessons through practicing the practical aspect of it and the way that it opens up your mind to the metaphysical and to the spiritual aspects of our existence. So, um, one thing that I wanted to share today was how when we create medicines, as alchemists, um, we do a lot of, we create a, a, a lot of medicines known as spagyrics, and that literally translates into to separate and then recombine. Um, so spagyric is a term that was coined back around 200 AD um, by Paracelsus, who was a very famous alchemist. If you're familiar with alchemy or study it at all, then uh, you would recognize that name. Um, but in cre the creation of spagyrics, there is a lot of separation and then uh, breaking down and breaking down and breaking down and breaking down and recombine and, you know, uh, purifying and cleansing and then recombining and, and then, uh, you know, filtering and breaking down again and uh, and then recombining. It takes a long time to make these medicines. Um, I've spent months and months and months um, on medicines. I've got some that are in process that have been in process, process since last December. And they can, some of them can take years to create. Uh, if you are looking to create a plant stone or a philosopher's stone that's going to take you a very very long period of time and you have to go through a very strict disciplinary process to build yourself up to be able to create a philosopher's stone although uh, and, and a plant stone is just preparation to that so a plant stone is similar to a philosopher's stone in the plant realm where it will allow you to create spagyrics and medicines a lot more uh, conveniently in the plant realm. Um, and the philosopher, Philosopher's Stone is exactly what you've read up on it uh, to be. Uh, that is what it is. That is what it will do. Um, go ahead and study it. I'm not going to get into that at this point. Um, but the reason I bring this up and the reason I'm creating this video right now is to share with you my experience and some personal growth that has come to my understanding as I've studied and delved into the art of uh, of alchemy and as i've created these medicines and broken down and recombined what i've realized is the very famous uh principle uh of alchemy um as above so below as within so without so as i've been creating these medicines i've realized that just like these spagyrics, what you're doing is you're creating a medicine. You're you're breaking it down and recombining it, breaking it down, recombining it until you bring it into its perfect crystalline form. It is the perfect version of itself. So these medicines are significantly more powerful than any medicine you'll find out in, you know, the pharmaceutical world or, you know, um, really, I mean, they're really the most powerful medicines in the world. Um, and you can create them to do really essentially anything you want if you discipline yourself enough to practice the art long enough to understand 
um, how to create a plant or, or a medicine to do this or that or the other, whatever you really want, you actually can do in the art of alchemy. But um, what I'm getting at is that what I've realized is that us ourselves are essentially a spagyric. We're something that is being created as well. And through our lifetimes, we're being uh, uh, separated and then recombined and then separated and then recombined and then separated and then recombined until we reach that perfect crystalline uh, state. Some people are calling it the light body. Some people are calling it, uh, what are some other terms I've heard? Your, um, uh, your, your crystal body or your rainbow body. Uh, but that is exactly what is happening to us as we are being separated and recombined, as we're purging, as we're going through these processes. Um, we are being perfected. We are being put into our, our, our perfect state. Uh, we're our most powerful state. So um, that is in direct correspondence with the principle as above, so below, as within, so without. So that's just a very, very basic and simple um, uh, metaphor that I've picked up on through my practice in alchemy that I just figured I would share with you guys. And I hope you find value in this. I hope that um, it sparks interest for you to kind of find your path if you haven't already or figure out what, you know, you want to do um and if alchemy calls you to the path then that's beautiful and that's amazing um because i've really absolutely enjoyed uh the practice of alchemy so um again i hope you guys have enjoyed this i hope you find it useful i hope that it's uh you know uh, resonates with you and i can't wait to talk to you again. Uh, sending out so much love and light. And have a wonderful week. Bye.